All right. Larry, what was the, the difficulty getting the game started offensively? Yeah, we just couldn't uh, we couldn't get anything going in the first half offensively. We we uh, we never got our, our running backs to the second level to the linebacker level. Uh, you know, it will be interesting to see on film what the real reason was, but we never got any consistency at all in what we were trying to do offensively. With the pressure, the struggles that Nathan had, especially in the first half, was that just a combination of the line not giving that much protection, or is there something that he was maybe doing that he either corrected later or still needs to correct? Well, I mean, he's still, you know, you, no matter what, whether you get pressure or not as a quarterback, you still got to make the right decisions, you know. And so, uh, unfortunately, uh, we, we turned the ball over four times a day, and if you turn it over like we did, you're, you're going to have a hard time winning a football game. You can still be in the game, but you're going to have a hard time winning a football game. I mean, they didn't turn it over. And we turned it over four times, and that's the difference in the game. Was there a point there, especially at that third interception, where maybe you had to talk a little confidence to him? Uh, we were talking to him throughout the entire game. It wasn't like uh, you know after one, you know, uh, one was more important than the other. I mean, uh, there's not a single turnover that you make as a quarterback that you want to you want to make. And uh, you know whether his confidence was, I, I didn't see any difference in him and his demeanor and the way he talked to us and and the way he tried to lead the football team. So, uh, you know, I'm sure it affected him, but he knows he's got to put it behind him. He's got to go on to the next play. Why did you decide to keep him in the game? Just felt like he was our best, gave us our best chance to win. Larry, despite those early struggles by the offense, the defense did a really good job of keeping you in the game. Can you just speak to what they were able to accomplish? Yeah, I thought our defense played well enough to win a football game, you know, all day. I thought uh, they gave great effort. They got pressure on the quarterback. We got sacks in the, you know, in the first half. We forced them to go to their quick game, really, the whole second half. And, and now you're going to have a hard time getting there. But I thought our guys played extremely well. The only thing I, I would have liked to have had out of those guys was to get get a couple takeaways. But uh, they they played their hearts out. Uh, you know, we we were aggressive. We 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 tackled. Uh, we were. I thought we just. I thought we played really well on defense. Was there a player or two that stood out on defense you, that you noticed and what he did well? Oh, I, I'm, I mean, there were there were times up front that I thought our defensive line was was, you know, they controlled the line of scrimmage. And uh, there were there were times on pass plays, there were times on run plays that I thought that our defensive line did a really good job of controlling the line of scrimmage. I thought, you know, just from a little bit that I was seeing, you know, Cole Holcomb was all over the field, and so was uh, uh, Dominique Cross, you know. And then I saw Kate uh, Britt making some plays. I mean, so I, you know, I had to look at it on film, but I thought as a as a team defensively. I thought that unit played extremely well. Coach JP said last week, he talked about the progress that Dominique has made, especially since he got on the field late last year and saw some stuff on film. Is what we saw today what you guys saw all month long in camp? Yeah, I mean, he had, what do you have, three or four pass breakups today? I mean, he, he, you know, he did a great job covering, you know, number two or number three through the, uh, through the middle. I mean, he, he just, he played well. And, and it, he's, he's athletic. He, the experience that he got last year made him better this year, and he's going to be a good football player. Larry, what changed for the offense in the second half, especially during the fourth quarter when things started to kind of roll for you? You start, you know, you pick up a first down and you start getting some confidence and you realize that you can you can do some things. And then you, you get a little consistency and all of a sudden you start moving the chains and that's the way the offense is built. You move the chains, you know, you can get some tempo going and you can put a defense on their heels. So why did it take so long? That's a good question. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to look at the film and, and uh, figure that out. Was there a sense that the wide receivers were struggling to get separation and to get open to give Elliott a chance or be a bigger window to throw to? You see yeah. that at all? Uh, I mean, you know, Ant Ant's a guy that uh, you know he makes most of his plays when when he's got somebody on top of him. You know, I mean, that's what that's the way he plays the game. He likes playing the game that way. Uh, I, I did not in the game. I wasn't sitting there thinking that we weren't creating separation. Uh, there's some vertical balls that. Uh, I thought Nate threw some great passes to give those guys an opportunity to make a play, and usually Ant's going to make those plays. And today he just he didn't make all those. What's the frustration over the volume of penalties? Again? Yeah, yeah, it's you know turnovers and and penalties. I mean that's the that's the game right there. You get 13 penalties in a game. It, you, I mean you, you don't give yourself a chance to win a football game. All that work you put into it, and you, if you have those kind of penalties, I mean, you, you're gonna you're gonna shoot yourself in the foot. You know, your self-inflicted wounds is what those are. What was your message in the locker room to the team after the loss? It's the first game. 
you know, we've, we've got a long season. Uh, we, we talked about what our goals are and what we have to do. Uh, you know, the most important thing we're going to do right now is start the recovery process for this next game. And then this next game is going to be the most important thing we have. All right, thanks, folks. Thank you, Coach.